this is just a little bit more explanation on how I was able to drill holes evenly spaced around my part. I also wanted to be able to drill holes evenly spaced along this angled plane. I didn't have a bracket that could hold the size of all thread that I was using so I had to just make up this bracket from scrap material. The hole that's in the center here which will actually hold the entire workpiece I used it to center my part. Now the accuracy of this is not that great and it's not important for this particular application. I do understand the limitations of it and again I want to repeat I'm a beginner this is good enough for what I did and here I'm just sighting it up with the center of that hole in relationship to the drill bit. I'm sure you could figure out and calculate the uh, halfway point of your particular part but in this instance this was good enough. So what I intend to do is attach a gear to the end of this piece of all thread and when they're bolted together they'll be able to rotate as one. This bolt that you see me attaching here that will actually be the point of loosening up and retightening excuse me I said bolt I meant nut and that when it's loosened up will allow me to rotate the whole setup here I'm just adding a bolt and a couple washers for my gear now I chose a 60 tooth gear and that's because I wanted to drill six holes so that's easy math um, six goes into 60 10 times so in this case I'd be able to uh, incrementally divide. This small gear serves absolutely no purpose. It's there because these gears have a stud and to protect that stud from the washer and the nut I just had to put that on there. So again it serves no purpose whatsoever. Here I am just tightening up the gears now these will not be loosened at all during the entire operation. You can see hopefully in the video that I have a couple green marks and that's every 10 teeth and so this will allow me to incrementally index or divide my part for my operation in this case for drilling. Now I needed to indicate off of that and I just had my mighty mag and a scrap piece of steel. It's entirely too long but I'm not going to waste any time cutting that because that's just stupid. So here I've just attached it to my cross slide so everything will move together and I'm going to use a magnet and just a small scrap of steel. Now some might criticize and say hey you're going to bump that you're going to move it and in my case it wasn't a problem at all. It worked just fine. I can loosen that nut and this entire setup will rotate as one and so I'm just going to sight that up to my next mark, tighten up the nut and I will be able to continue with the piece. For this angled plane because it was all put together as a single unit I can simply just rotate and I line up that angled surface with the face of the drill chuck. I know that this is not a perfect way of doing it it does have its limitations, but I hope that it can help at least somebody, perhaps in my similar situation as a beginner and you have limited tooling and you'd like to learn how to incrementally divide. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and I forgot to share that you can now follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. I intend not to clutter up my YouTube channel with a bunch of junk, although that could hurt me later on. I don't know, but for right now, I'm not going to post up a bunch of video logs and stuff like that. I just want to keep my quality content or things that I really want to share on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see what's going on behind the scenes or in between, check it out.